Welcome to Tommy Rants. I posted a video this morning uh, that I did yesterday um, about several things that annoy me about my Casita. Um, one of them is the roller shades. I mentioned that I was regretting possibly not getting the mini blinds, even though I'm not fond of mini blinds. Um, because these roller shades have a drawback. You, they're either up or they're down. But I figured out a quick, easy way, just a little trick, to get them to stop pretty much anywhere you want. And that is by using a, this is an eight inch cable tie. And I just slipped it up in there. Um, if you slip it in there, up in there while the blinds way down here, it'll, you know, stop here ish. And if you wait a little longer before you put this in, it'll, you know, come halfway and so on. This is a piece of Reflectix. I have, uh, it's in most of my videos because I've had it up here ever since I installed it. It's uh, got a grommet embedded into each corner, a metal grommet. And then I just simply use drapery hooks to hang it. Um, and it hugs the wall because I put one on each corner at the top. And at the bottom, I reversed them so that this thing is more like pulling up on the hook. Uh, it works good enough. I, I have never taken it down, so I don't know. It, it, I may take it down once and never use it again, but it's uh, it does a pretty good job of hugging the wall next to the window and blocking light out. Plus, you have that, you know, heat barrier reflector. Anyway, what I found... And I thought I'd test it on the biggest blind in here, or, and is just pull it down. Well, for those that don't know, that's what you live with all the time because they're always um, either all the way up or all the way down. So it's that or that. I wish they had the feature where you could pull it down halfway and give it a quick tug and it stays there, but they don't. So I'm going to go down, save that far, put this zip tie in near the center. See how it just rides up in there with the shade. And then when it stops, I can feel the little um, zipper in that you insert the tie into if you're using it in its uh, normal use. And when you want to take it out and put the blind back in a different position, it just rolls right back out. I have found that they start, they do have quite a memory in the, for um, this application and, and they start rolling up. So this is the second one I've used. I could keep using the first one. It's rolled up into a circle, but uh, for the video, I thought I'd get a brand new one out and uh, it's uh, basically so I wasn't fumbling around too much during the video. Uh, I'm not going to recommend this to other people, and I know this can be improved upon. This is the first, actually, second thing I thought of. My first idea was put some kind of rubber wedge up there when you get the blinds where you want them. Um, I, I, I don't know about that. Uh, and this could be improved by adding... I don't know, I may take something like one of these grommets and, and tie it through the holes here. So I have a little bigger something at the bottom to grab. Uh, my fear with this is that this end can get pulled all the way up in there. And then I don't know, you know, what it's going to do to the springs of the roller or to the shade itself. Um, I was willing to gamble on it. And uh yeah, I mean, it's a simple thing and uh, common every day. This is a cheap cable tie, too. It's just not going to be good for a lot else. So I solved my problem, at least temporarily. I can, um, of course, on this window, I had the reflectate, so it's not a great application here. Um, but it works pretty good for the video because it gives you that background instead of a blinding light coming through when I raise it up. Uh, but I can use it on any of the windows. One is enough, even for the biggest. 
and yeah that that's a temporary solution you can put your blind roller shades wherever you want so maybe that'll help somebody this is tommy rants rv i'm tom and that's it for today